What is up? My dog is lost in here. Beautiful morning out on the landscape. Today we're chasing down tarpon, big snook, and big largemouth bass deep in the back country on the bicycle. I've been streaming a couple nights a week on Twitch. If you are into that, it's been super fun. I'll leave a link down below where we're doing that if you want to come join in on the festivities. Today's video is sponsored by Mr. Tacklebox. We'll talk about that later. Let's go catch some fish. We have arrived. Oh, that's loud. Oh my God. We have arrived. As I'm pulling up, I saw a tarpon roll. Bingo. I'm starting off throwing a white fluke, the ultimate tarpon slayer lure. Always check your drag before you make a cast. Oh, look at the tarpon right there. Oh, there was a tarpon just missed one right there. Come on now. Oh, tarpon all up in it. I might need to put a smaller fluke on. It's a six inch, I have a four inch. Oh, they're on it. There's so many tarpon on it right now. Dude, dude, dude. There's like a storm of fish moving this thing around down there. Oh my gosh, look at this. I wonder if they'll come up and hit it. There's tarpon underneath it. There's a lot of tarpon right here. I wish I had a fly rod. If I had a fly rod, I'd be knee deep in the tarpuni. Another one right there. Unreal. Unreal. They're everywhere. Dude, dude, dude. There's so many tarpon right here. Oh, come on. Come on. species of the morning, but not quite the size that I didn't get through But we caught a bass, so maybe now we can just start whacking tarpon. Hey, real quick, just want to cut away from the video to let you guys know that today's video is sponsored by Mystery Tackle Box. If you don't know what Mystery Tackle Box is, they're an online subscription-based company. It sends a box full of lures to your door every month. They help me catch fish really it's great if you are a new angler if you're experienced it doesn't matter you could find new things that you would have never thrown or it'll just help you learn what to throw i have a link down below where you can sign up for mr tack box if you haven't they have bass ones they have saltwater ones basically anything to fit your needs they even are doing some fly fishing stuff with post fly now so make sure you go check out the link below and uh go pick you up a mystery tackle box all right i got a jig out of my mystery tackle box we're gonna try to put this on the spillway here Definitely good for largemouth, but you'd not believe how many freaking snook I've caught on bass jigs, man. Oh, God. Oh, Lord almighty. Huge bowfin. He destroyed that jig. Oh, God. Not necessarily what we're looking for, but not a bad fish. Get out of the rocks. I don't want him to get all banged up. Gosh, these fish fight so much harder than bass do. Okay, let's see if we can get a grip on these things. These are one of the hardest fish ever to freaking hold. That is a bowfin. I don't want to hear a single comment saying it's a snakehead because it's not. <laughs> All right, there's our bowfin. One of the coolest fish in the U.S., to be honest. Super prehistoric, badass, fight hard. Not what we're looking for, but a awesome side piece. <laughs> This looks epic. Really? 
really good water flow coming out of this pipe over here. Wouldn't be surprised if we can whack a fish off of this. There's a fish. Wow, that feels like a good fish. Holy crap. I thought that swim bait sink right to the bottom and it got smashed down below. It's a big bass, man. Dear Lord, I don't know if I've ever had many bass fight this freaking hard as this one is right here, dude. I don't know if it's because he's up in this current or what, but this dude is yoinking me. Oh. There he goes right there. Not too worried about it. But a three pounder. Easiest way to release him. Don't have to pull him out of the water. Wow. I cannot believe how hard that blast was fighting. That was kind of strange, to be honest. Let's just be like insanely fired up with all that current. But that was a nice three pounder. I uh, look, I'm not super heartbroken about not landing a bass of that size. When they start to get over maybe four or five, then I'll be really, really upset about not getting them in my hands, but getting them right next to the bank and letting them swim off nicely. It's good as it gets. Oh, something picked that up when I was falling. Might put a jig on. I know I'm getting smacked on the swim bait. Oh, there it was again. Okay, maybe I won't. <laughs> I will say one thing. You are a land based angler and you're struggling to catch fish you need to find moving water so in front of me here there's a culvert pipe and water is pumping out of it moving water is the source of life when it comes to fish whether you're fishing salt water or fresh water it doesn't matter you need to find water that is moving if you can and that's where the fish are going to congregate so what's happening right now is there's a culvert pipe in front of me on the other side there's a little drainage canal and the drainage canal is being dumped when there's a lot of rain into this main canal and when it's dumping every shiner and minnow and crawfish and little bluegill that's in that drainage canal is gonna oh my gosh gonna naturally flow out through this pipe and so it's just like a funnel pushing food into these fish's mouths so if you're really struggling to find fish you need to spend some time trying to locate some good moving water pipes that might be a spillway that what we've hit some in this video that might be culvert pipes it might be an actual natural creek mouth could be an inlet mouth like a small little inlet moving water is it's life man all right here's a little uh, hidden fishing rat knowledge for you if you're fishing on a boat or bank doesn't really matter but if you're casting towards the bank something that you should be trying to do if you're throwing something that's weedless or semi weedless like this swim bait is is actually throwing your bait up on the bank itself as long as you know you won't get snagged and really gently pulling your bait off of the bank into the water even if you're throwing something extremely light you can scare fish pretty badly if you slap a bait down right next to them but you throw that bait up against the bank and gently pull it off you'll be in disbelief how many fish you catch laying right against the bank especially big ones i say it all the time the people like a snook if it has enough water to cover its gill plates snook and redfish they will sit in four inches of water even if it's a 30 inch fish as long as water's over their gill plates you know and same goes for largemouth and even tarpon sometimes too so making that sneaky cast of like the bank shot and pulling it right off can be really, really deadly effective. Holy shit. <laughs> That's a black racer, but uh, you can see how easy it is to step, step on like a water moccasin or something like that. That was just a black racer, but. Oh, there's tarpon right there. I don't know why I'm whispering. The tarpon right there. <laughs> oh man, big swirl right here. Not sure about that was about. There's a huge swirl right against the bank. And the papa.
there's a nice large map. Holy crap. I thought that was going to be a tarpon. It's a uh, consolation prize at least. That is a great largemouth. Not really what I'm trying to catch out here, even though this is their domain that we're in. You gotta love Florida. Trying to catch tarpon, catch about a two and a half, three pound largemouth instead. Oh, nice Florida largie. That was a tank, not at all what we're trying to catch. Tarpon is on my brain. Tarpon and snook, and I'm seeing some tarpon roll. And it's crazy because we're catching like that's tarpon right there in front of me. <laughs> I'm catching, you know, a three-pound largemouth. Caught that like four-pound bowfin, that really thick bowfin. But I'm seeing tarpon roll everywhere in this canal. That's a freshwater environment. It's like <laughs> very possibly could hook a forty-pound tarpon in here on this light gear, and it would just be the most epic thing of all time. So I'm hoping that'll happen for us. As the sun's starting to go down, the tarpon should start coming up and we'll be in a good spot. It's unreal beautiful out tonight, dude. Unbelievable.